Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to record and edit audio on your iPhone with the Voice Memos app, which comes pre-installed on your iPhone. To access it, swipe down from the middle of the screen and type in the words of Voice Memos, and then tap on the application icon. The first step is to tap on all recordings at the top of the screen. And if you haven't used this app before, it will be completely blank. Tap on the record button to start recording the audio. Right now it's recording and you'll see a live waveform appear just above the record button indicating that it's receiving a signal and recording your audio. Once you've completed the recording, tap on the stop button and then you'll see your new recording appear in the all recordings section. The first thing you may want to do is to change the title of your recording. To do that, tap on the title itself and give it a title. Next, tap on the settings icon on the bottom left-hand corner of the recording. And here you have a number of options available to you. The first one is to change the playback speed. So if for whatever reason you need the recording to happen faster, whether you've been to a lecture at a university and you wanna get through the information quicker, you could speed that up. Or if you'd like to slow the audio down for a special effect, you can go the other way and slide across to the left towards the turtle. I don't wanna speed up or slow down this recording, so I'll bring back the slider to the starting point. The next option is skip silence, which is really useful. When you activate this, all the silent sections in your recording will automatically be cut out. Once again, this is ideal for those of you recording lectures at a university, so that any silent parts will be automatically cut out. Or even if you're recording a podcast and you'd like to automatically cut out the silent moments, this can help streamline the recording and make it flow much more. This is a non-destructive edit, so if you decide you would like to bring the silence back, simply tap on the settings again and tap on skip silence again to turn it off. The next option is enhance recording and this can do wonders for the audio quality itself. When you tap on enhance recording, the iPhone will automatically apply certain effects to maximize the quality of the audio. You'll notice that when you turn this on in a voiceover recording, it will significantly reduce room noise and echo and also add a little bit of compression to the voice so that it stands out. Let's take a listen. So here's a demonstration of the audio without using audio enhancement on the Voice Memos app. And this will pick up all the room noise along with some echo and reverb and a little bit of the air conditioning noise. Now, if I turn the enhance audio feature on, which I'll do right now, you should notice that it cleans up the audio remove some of that reverb and rim noise and it really does produce a much cleaner sounding audio. If you'd like to make additional edits to your recording, tap on the three dotted icon next to the title itself and then in the drop down menu that appears, click on edit recording and you'll see the waveform of your audio recording appear at the top of the screen. You can scroll along to any point in the timeline to replace or add to the recording. So in this example, I wanna to go to the last section. I'd like to record over this whole section. So to do that, I'll just position the playhead at the point that I'd like to insert the audio, tap on replace and continue recording the audio. And now this new audio is being recorded over that previous section and I can pause the audio at any time and then I could resume audio to add more to this audio file. Once you've completed the recording, click on done and you'll save down those changes. If you'd like to edit the file itself, you can tap on the icon on the top right hand corner of the audio waveform and bring up the editing window. And this allows you to create in and out points and trim the audio. So for example, if you've got a long intro or an outro section that you'd like to trim away, you can just drag the yellow scroll bars inward until you get your in and out points to the section that you'd like to maintain and then click on trim. 
or if you'd like to delete a particular section, once again, you can drag the right and left yellow scroll bars along to the section that you'd like to delete. And this time, rather than use the trim option, if we choose delete, it will delete the section within the yellow highlighted area. Once you're happy with your changes, click on save to save down your audio file, click on done, and then you can go ahead and tap on the three dotted icon, tap on share and select airdrop, messages, mail, or any of the available applications to share the audio file to. On a final note, let's talk about audio quality. There are two options available to you, which you can find in your iPhone settings. So let's tap on the settings icon, scroll down until we get to the voice memos application. And here you'll see that you have some options that you can select. The first one is to allow voice memos to access your location. That's depending on your privacy requirements, whether you allow this on or off. You can also let Siri search get access to this application. I'll turn that off. Uh, you can offer to show the app in search and show in content search, show on home screen, suggest app, and suggestion notifications. Then you can determine whether this application can access your mobile data, which I'll leave to on at the moment. You can also have your recordings automatically cleared after 30 days. And then you can select the quality of the audio and you've got the choice between compressed and lossless audio. So if you're recording this for general applications, just for notation, you could use the compressed option. But if you're recording for a video podcast or any other audio application that requires professional editing, you should select the lossless option. The next is to specify whether you want to have location-based naming. So if you have the location setting on, it will know where you are and will change the title of your recording based on location, which could be useful for those of you documenting a journey whilst traveling or if you're using this for client work out in the field. But for privacy reasons, you might want to turn this off and avoid using location-based naming. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to check out my previous video on how to edit audio using GarageBand, I'll leave a link to that video and a few others on the topic of audio in the description box below. Bye for now.